Those trains are heavy. There's a lot of mass on those trains and they can't stop on a dime. Captain Nine Keith six. Webster with the Durham County Nine Sheriff's six. Office points to the intersection near Pettigrew Street where a driver was hit and killed by a train just last month. Video showing the car in flames. It's the family members that are affected. Not only is the conductor and who else is riding in, in a locomotive. Webster says it's one of two deadly crashes at train crossings within Durham County this year. They happened in a two day time frame. He says the county plans to study the intersection later this year, thanks to a $1.2 million grant. There's a lot of train traffic through here, whether it be um, Norfolk Southern trains, Amtrak's. It is a very busy intersection. Each day, Webster says you'll see at least 19 trains pass through this area. In 25 years, Durham County says there have been more than 20 collisions in this intersection and two others. Five years ago, North Carolina had more than 50 crashes across the state. The biggest concern for you guys is the mistake that you see commonly. The biggest mistake is, is they're trying to beat it. They're trying to gain that extra minute to wherever they may be traveling. When it comes to the numbers, Webster only wants one number. Zero accidents, zero fatalities, because any loss of life is tragic. Now Webster actually tells me that you can be arrested for first degree trespassing if you do decide to walk on the tracks. And he also says you'll want to be aware of a lot of the signs out here. He says you'll see all kinds of signs in these intersections, but really focusing here on the blue sign, it has a lot of valuable information. You not only see the number, you see the owner of the tracks here, but also you have a description of the location, even the ID number that you can give to dispatchers in case there is an emergency. In Durham, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.